Hello, this is the video for the linear oscillatory motion laboratory experiment. In this experiment, you're going to be measuring the spring constant of a spring such as this one using two methods. Firstly, you're going to be using a direct method. The direct method makes use of Hooke's law, which tells us that the restoring force, F, is equal to minus kx, where k is the spring constant of the spring and x is the displacement from equilibrium. You're going to be applying different forces by adding mass to the end of the spring, applying the weight force, and then finding out how much the spring extends from its equilibrium position. Taking a few of these measurements will allow you to find out k. In the second part of the experiment, you're going to use an indirect method where you're going to be making use of simple harmonic motion in the spring. Simple harmonic motion tells us that the acceleration is equal to minus omega squared x, where x is the displacement from e equilibrium and omega is the angular frequency. We know for a spring that omega is equal to the square root of k on m, where k is the spring constant and m is the mass added to the end of the spring, and that omega is also equal to 2 pi f, which is also 2 pi on t, where t is the period of the spring. You're going to look at a graph of acceleration, displacement and velocity and how they change with time as the spring oscillates. And from these graphs, you can work out the period of oscillation from the spring, which is going to allow you to calculate k. Once you've got k with these two methods, both including uncertainties, you're going to compare your two results and hopefully they will be in agreement. Let's have a look at the equipment used now. The equipment you'll have for this experiment is a retort stand with a meter ruler attached. You've got your spring with a mass carrier attached to the end of it with masses that you can take on and off. Please leave the mass carrier attached to the spring. It's being carefully attached so that it doesn't fly off if you pull it down too hard. For the second part, you're going to need to get the spring to oscillate. Do this with very small oscillations. You'll get much better results if you just pull it down a minimal amount and let it go than if you give it very large oscillations. When you give it too large an oscillation, it tends not to be simple harmonic motion anymore. The motion gets more chaotic. So in order to measure this, you can make use of the collisions and car crash part one template in the Logger Pro folder. This will give you measurements of the position versus time, velocity versus time, and acceleration versus time. And you can make use of these to measure the period. So I hope you get good results from this experiment and that you learn quite a lot from measuring the spring constant using the two methods.